Hi, I'm Norman Perolo from Perolo Design and Woodskills. I'm a furniture designer and maker for several decades now. So I'd like to provide some insight into the furniture making process. So I created a montage of clips from a typical furniture build, one of my cabinets on stand. And uh, notice uh, I use some machines, but mostly focus on handwork. This is a balanced approach for woodworkers to maintain a woodworking tradition of using hand tools in, uh, in today's environment of uh, considerable machine work and CNC. I also benefit from the efficiencies of machines to process the wood early on in the build. The horizontal mortiser you see in uh, two or three of the clips is a machine donated to me that I restored and adapted for my own work. I've added some jigs and some uh, some work holding to it for specifically for uh, for components, some rails and styles that I work on. And of course, there are several more steps uh, to creating this cabinet on stand, but these are the highlights, so enjoy. I'm Norm Perolo from Wood Skills, and I'd like to talk about a few woodworking books I've uh, written. My recent book is Quiet Woodworking in an Unquiet World. It talks about my movement to uh, hand tools from high tech to low tech, a woodworker's journey, which chronicles my journey from my former high tech career to my uh, current furniture making career. Along with that, I offer courses through woodskills.com. The courses range from a basic woodworking course right through to furniture design and a comprehensive design and making course. All books are available in both print and digital format.
two reference surfaces.
So I hope you've enjoyed this insight on my furniture making process. A low considerable number of steps have uh, been skipped. You can see the, uh, the highlights or the, uh, the focal points of, uh, of the furniture build. In this case, a cabinet on stand with some uh, Kimiko uh, elements in the door panels. I hope this has uh, inspired you to go forward with your furniture making and uh, create a balance of using machines and handwork. In my own case, I focus more on handwork and I do some preliminary processing with machines but I quickly switched to using hand tools afterwards. I enjoy the process of using hand tools considerably more than using machines. It's a quieter, dust-free environment. I can control the tool and the wood. I can focus on the grain of the wood and some of the, uh, the figure on the wood. So this helps considerably in my furniture making. So I've since switched to using hand tools predominantly in my work. You can see this in, in uh, several of the clips. Going forward, I hope to be sharing more of my, uh, my furniture making process with you. Please subscribe to my my YouTube channel and uh, please also visit uh, woodskills.com my website where I might have my uh, several of my books available in both digital and print format and along with that quite a few online courses on on woodworking right through the furniture design right through the design making courses Kamiko and dovetailing thank you for watching